Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn DeWord, and I am a practicing general dentist in Woodridge, Illinois. I am often frustrated when attempting to use standard obturation techniques in tight places, especially second molars, or on patients with limited vertical opening. This is a frustration that all practicing dentists experience, particularly those of us doing molar endodontics. My fingers tend to get in the way of placing the obturator, often resulting in a bent or broken obturator, lost time, frustration for both me and, more importantly, the patient. I'm going to share with you an obturation tip that helps me overcome this problem. Before that obturation tip, however, in my opinion, the most important factor in getting quality dense root canal fills is establishing a proper glide path by removing dentin triangles and proper mechanical and chemical cleansing and shaping of the root canal system. I find carrier-based obturation to be the most efficient and effective way of filling a root canal system in my hands. I often find that following proper cleansing and shaping and debriding, I can better achieve a 3D fill of the canal system. This includes lateral and accessory canals and multiple portals of exit at the apex. My solution is to temper the gutta core obturator with standard settings and techniques. When the obturator is tempered, snap off the handle and use a small curved hemostat to place the obturator. Typically, I grasp the obturator with the small hemostat, snap off the handle, and then go right to the tooth. While Guttacore provides a full condensed fill, I typically follow this with careful and gentle warm vertical condensation of the softened gutta percha with the calamus condensers, starting with the large green and finishing with the small yellow. This allows for hydraulic movement of sealer into lateral and accessory canals, in addition to moving sealer into multiple canal exits at the root apex. This technique is best accomplished while using a dental operating microscope because of the increased visibility and tactile sensitivity that high magnification allows. So this has been a little tip on how I handle root canal system obturation in teeth with limited access and patients with limited opening ability. I hope this is a technique that you too can use in these difficult situations. Mm -hmm.